Okay. Um, <clears throat> my name is Sadiq Shahadu. Uh, my username is Shahadu Sadiq. I'm currently the West Africa Language Coordinator at Art and Feminism, and I am wearing smock and uh, hat. So, next slide. Okay, so uh, we have a brief and friendly space policy that I would like to share with all of you. So the goal of this session is to create an encouraging space for collective learning. This requires intentional behavior wherein participants are conscious of and accountable for the effect of their statement and actions on others. We respect our experiences and the experiences of others and recognize that we cannot do this work without one another. We agree to hold each other accountable to foster a brief and friendly policy. So you can see more of this uh, by going to this link uh, on bit.ly. And then we also have anti-racism policy. You can check that out also. And then the Wikimedia Foundation's Universal Code of Conduct. So this is a very important thing for us at Art and Feminism. And uh, so let's talk about what Art and Feminism is. I don't know if we have past organizers of Art and Feminism campaigns here. Do we have any organizer? Okay, great, great. Okay, so Art and Feminism, most of us know, uh, like they are an organization that works to bridge the information gap on gender, on Wikipedia, and even on the internet. But a lot of us don't know that there's other programs that Art and Feminism runs, which is one of the programs I'll be talking about, the West Africa Language Initiative. So Art and Feminism is a committee of uh, activists that are committed to closing the information gap related to gender, feminism, and art, beginning with Wikipedia. We also envision that the internet that reflects diverse global histories of art making, where committee who have most often been written out of history feel welcome and empowered to participate in writing and rewriting our stories. So this is what basically what art and feminism is. And I'll be talking about the indigenous West African language program, which started in 2020. It was a piloted program by art and feminism with myself and another colleague from uh, Canada and the focus of this was to like uh, support small language communities within West Africa and also empower them by providing technical support and training for community leaders to be able to, uh, please go back to the next slide, to be able to carry out uh, initiatives related to Wikipedia. As at the same time, we support the Art and Feminism Regional Ambassador Program where community leaders are asked to organize uh, satellite events in their community. So this program was modified into the Art and Feminism, Feminism Indigenous Language Community Program, which is currently led by myself. And I work with several language communities in West Africa, which is the Dagbani, Gruni, Chi, Mori, and other communities in Ghana. Uh, we've recently added um, Tiap Wikipedia community in uh, Nigeria. Next slide. Okay, so some people may be asking, Art and Feminism works on information gap on gender and art, why um, language program? So the reason why we established this language program, myself was an organizer uh, of art and feminism campaign since 2017. And then I moved on to become like a, a community leader for art and feminism campaigns and then the regional ambassador. And now um, we realize that so many of these communities are creating content in local languages. So when they organize art and feminism campaigns, they don't just write on English Wikipedia, they write in their local language. So there's the need for us to like provide technical support to community leaders who uh, are currently supporting smaller and low resource language communities. And with Dagbani, uh, we started in 2021, July 1. And as of today, this, I think this more than, the articles are now more than 8,000. So through art and feminism, we're able to organize like office hours where community members participate to learn about how they can create content in their local language. We also run them through Wikidata um, training sessions during our community office hours at Art and Feminism. And then we provide like um, technical support at uh, in-person events uh, during our community activities. And then the Gruni Wikipedia also came in uh, in 2023, January 27th. And at the moment, they have over 7,722 articles and also approved. And now we added uh, Mori Wikipedia, which is largely spoken in, in uh, Burkina Faso. I don't know if we have Burkina Faso committee members here. So the Mori 
we don't. Okay. Even though the community, the user group that Ban Wikimedians currently support about um, 15 mutually intelligible com- languages on Wikipedia, the majority of speakers of Mori language is based in uh, Burkina Faso. So we are very much interested in connecting with them and then let introducing them to this initiative. Then we... Okay, good. Great. So then we started again with Kusal. Kusal is one of the languages from the Dagbani or Mabia. We call them Mabia languages because they are mutually intelligible and they are spoken in, across three countries like Ghana, Benin, and Burkina Faso. Then Dagari also incubated uh, around the same time and they are currently... I'm very excited to also share this story with you that last year at Wikin Daba in Kigali, I, I was sitting with Amir, most of us uh, um, know Amir, and then we set up the Dagari Wikipedia incubator. And as we speak now, it has been approved. I was here and then he sent me a message that Dagari has been approved as one of the language. So I'm very excited about that. And we also supported um, the uh, a mini conference in Ghana, which is the Ghanaian Languages Committee's Meetup, a mini conference that brings together language communities to share ideas, learn about their challenges and experiences and how they can collaborate with each other. And then I, Art and Femzim also participated in Afria Conference this year. And we connected with librarians as our work cast across multiple communities. We were able to engage several librarians from the African continent and then connect them to Art and Femzim campaign. So this is basically what I have. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Ali. I'm sorry we are taking much of your lunch time. <laughs> sorry, my question is, I see a whole lot of language Wikipedias coming up. And sometimes I really wonder, do we have people that read these articles? How do you know? And how are you able to really measure the uh, readers? Like, Because I see so many language Wikipedia, but... Uh, it's the the fat standard. The English Wikipedia has more readers than the language Wikipedia. Thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. All right. We were in a um a session earlier where Mike from the foundation was who did a um a re- research into the readership um of like Swahili and Yoruba and why people and others, uh, why people read them and what the reasons were. And um, one person, he said that one of the, uh, a journalist wanted to write about, um, needed to write in Kiswahili about a microwave. So he searched in Kiswahili for the topic on microwaves. So he knew how to use the, the, the language um, in, re- in reference to that topic. So it was like a... And I just wonder, there's, it feels like there's a huge burden on people who are doing local language Wikipedias to also make it la- linguistically, per, you know, good so that it t- helps to keep the language alive. And I don't know how that is then. I'm not like, asking for a solution. I'm just raising it is, as kind of like also something that needs to be considered when those like, how do we make sure the quality of the language is, is not just like a, Ah, I can go to Dagbani and I won't get the, you know, I won't get the um the administrators on me, so I'll just write what I want, kind of thing. So I just want to know about that kind of quality control. And it's not a it's it's a concern, it's not a, a criticism. I think you almost answered one of the questions Bukula asked. <laughs> okay, so to hard to what she said. Um, compared to the English Wikipedia, language Wikipedias don't have as many admins or, and I'll say what, how are you addressing that? Are you raising, um, are you training those, um, editors up to the level of admins to be sure that it is checked? Like, for example, the Aosa Wikipedia, um, in terms of content, when they translate, they just do it like a rough work. And, um, in terms of sometimes they don't have references. And there are so many of these articles. Are you making sure that it is li- that the, your language Wikipedia is living up to the standard of Wikipedia? That's my question. And sorry, just just <laughs> while she was speaking, I just recall that there is a language Wikipedia whose admin does not speak that language. Yes. <laughs> 
and it works with volunteers that speak that language. But uh, the uh, founder of this language, Wikipedia, is also the administrator of that language, Wikipedia. So how do we then ensure that uh, the quality of content on that language, Wikipedia, uh, measure up to what we have in the English Wikipedia? Thank you. All right, thank you so much. So I'll start with the need for having like multiple languages. I think uh, Ayla partly answered that because uh, I feel like even though we are supposed to be concerned about how we incubate languages, but I feel like Wikimedia provides a space for us to document our language. When I started like searching for information on Dagbani, Wikipedia, in Dagbani, for example, I didn't find any information for like many years ago. There was nothing on Wikipedia. Uh, the internet about Dagbani, like you won't see any text written in Dagbani or books published in Dagbani. But since we started Wikipedia, we've actually even worked with Google. We've partnered with Ghana NLP to produce an application using resources that are collected on Wikimedia projects, like Wikimedia Commons and Wikipedia articles. We, we use the Wikipedia articles on Dagbani Wikipedia, all the articles, we collected the sentences, assembled them, use it to train um, the Kaya app AI application, which is like a text translation and automatic speech transla uh, translation tool, all from the Wikipedia article that we created. Now the app is able to interact, like translate between English and Dagbani. And then we went ahead to create a project called Batinoma, which they spoke about yesterday to build, uh, to improve the quality of the application by providing automatic speech recognition. So when you speak, the app is able to detect using uh, files that we uploaded on Wikimedia Commons. We started with dictionary words, about 4,000 plus dictionary words. Thanks to Mohammed, I'll talk more about that. And then we also did, um, we went ahead to do like phrases, over 60,000 phrases in Dagbani, collected, uploaded on Wikimedia Commons. When Mohammed started it, we didn't know what exactly we could use that for, but NLP approached us that they needed data set for Dagbani. And now also Dagbani is also on um, Mozilla Commons, voice, thanks to the collections that we've done for Wikimedia Commons and then the Wikipedia articles that we created many years ago. So that's one thing. And why we start these languages, we don't just start languages like that. We I also work with the Language um, Diversity Hub um, committee, uh, pro project like as the project lead. And then um, what we do is that we engage the language committee who are responsible for approving new, new versions of Wikipedia to ask them what ex they, they need for communities who are working on smaller language committees. And most of them say that they want to see that the language is taught in class or the language is government sponsored in the country. So these languages that are being, that we are working on are languages that are government sponsored languages, which means they teach the language, people write them in exams. Yeah. So, you know, so those are the languages that we work with. We don't intend to put so many languages. And then the community also, how they can contribute to it is a key factor for the committee. Then they ask us, do we have people to contribute to the language? Can they continuously contribute to Wikipedia after it has been approved? And that is yes, because the, all these languages are taught in the colleges in Northern Ghana and then the University of Education. So that's why we create this language. Yeah, I don't know if I missed the other one. And also with regards to Wikidata, like so graphical data, because of the work that we do, it has also been used to improve the, like, Dagwani was also selected as one of the focus languages for the pilot of abstract Wikipedia, if all of us are already aware. So Dagwani is one of the, even being a smaller language, even at the time we were still in the incubator, we were selected as one of the focus languages. And we are currently being part of the abstract Wikipedia program. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the learning. Don't we learn more, learn more, learn more. It's very essential learning.